it's Carrie, your Pampered Chef Consultant from Hawaii. I'm going to share with you some of my favorite tools and tips for cutting a fresh pineapple. So we've got our fresh pineapple and we're going to take our pineapple wedger. Some of you may be familiar with our apple wedger and this is kind of like a big apple wedger made for pineapples, but I'm going to show you how you can use both of those together. So the first thing you're going to do is cut off the top and the bottom of your pineapple and I'm going to show you that you can use all of this pineapple for something, so you don't need to waste anything. This pineapple was bought today in Ohio and it was only $3. That's about what we pay in Hawaii for a pineapple, sometimes $2.50. Okay, so you've got the top and the bottom cut off, and we're gonna take this pineapple wedger. And here's the key. A lot of people think you've gotta push down in the middle really hard like you would with the apple wedger in an apple, but the key to this is actually to get above it. So if you're on a high counter, you might wanna get a step stool um, or just do it on a kitchen table like we are today. And you wanna rock back and forth so you get all the way down. So I never really have to muscle it, you just have to get over it and rock back and forth, that's the key. Now I could kinda of yank these out, but what I like to do is take the protective cover and just lift this whole thing up and then just pop it through. So now it's really easy to pull these pieces out. And you see I'm using a, one of our cutting boards that has all the grooves, so I'm not making a big mess and getting it all over the front of me down my counter. So I'm gonna take this all apart. Now, every piece can be used. So you can actually grow your own pineapple, take this, put it in some water and get some roots started and plant it takes about a year to grow a full pineapple, but you'll get a little pineapple growing up the top. You've gotta to be in a warmer climate, obviously, so if you are somewhere colder, you might be able to bring it inside. It does need to get enough sunlight. So go ahead and try it, fun with the kids. These can be used as little boats to serve, you know, maybe little melon balls or something else. So you could use these on like a fruit tray or platter. But the other thing you could do with these is cut these up into chunks, put it in a Ziploc bag, Add your barbecue sauce, let that set, and you've got a really nice um, pineapple flavored barbecue sauce to use on your chicken or vegetables. Okay, and then the center here, the core, it's really um, fibrous and tough. Some people do slice it real thin and eat it. You could put it into a smoothie if you've got a really strong blender like a Vitamix. But what I love to do is take this, I'll stick it in a Ziploc bag and put it in my freezer. So I usually have a lot of these in my freezer. I will pull that out and pop it into my Turvis tumbler or a water bottle and it'll keep it cold and it'll flavor it with a little pineapple flavoring. Also good if you've got teething uh, babies, let them chomp on that when it's frozen. Okay, so now we're left with the perfect middle here. It's nice, round, and now this is the magic. So that apple wedger that you have will actually fit right over the top of that. So you just line up two of the blades with the lines that we've already cut. You go right down over the top, and now you've got wow, 10 spears of pineapple. So this is the perfect size to throw on the grill or do on your grill pan and make a really nice dessert. Or you can then take your knife and just cut all of it up and dice it up for your fruit salad or your Mai Tai. That's all for today. Thanks.